It started with an idea, a big one, to take treated wastewater and do the unthinkable, purify it to become high quality drinking water. Many said it could not be done. Fortunately for Orange County, many embraced the science behind the technology and emphatically said, yes, we can. The Orange County Water District and Orange County Sanitation District made history in 2008 with the opening of the groundwater replenishment system. To date, they have produced more than 175 billion gallons of new water, enough water for nearly 600,000 people. On June 28, 2015, history was made again when OCWD completed the GWRS initial expansion taking daily GWRS production to 100 million gallons of pure water for more than 850,000 people. The $142 million GWRS initial expansion increased output in an average cost of $520 per acre foot. While other agencies were facing severe local water shortages, the expansion allowed OCWD to increase pumping levels of the Orange County groundwater basin during California's historic four-year drought at one-third the cost of imported water supplies from Northern California and the Colorado River. Pumping more local groundwater resulted in significant savings for the 19 agencies OCWD serves. The GWRS initial expansion entailed the construction of additional treatment facilities at the AWPF site in Fountain Valley, additional microfiltration, reverse osmosis, and ultraviolet light treatment equipment was purchased and installed. In addition, pumps, electrical gear, and additional post-treatment equipment were required. With the GWRS initial expansion, OCWD set out to not only increase water production, but to make the GWRS even more efficient. OCWD reduced GWRS operating costs by optimizing the performance of the existing system. The initial expansion included energy recovery devices, which maximize energy usage in the reverse osmosis or RO process equating to a reduction in the source of fuel used by Southern California Edison in generating electricity for the GWRS. The RO system of the original GWRS lacks some critical instrumentation to allow evaluation of performance of individual stages. Further, the feed pressure required for operation of RO was approximately 190 pounds per square inch or PSI resulting in concentrate stream pressure of 125 PSI. For the six new RO trains included in the GWRS initial expansion, energy recovery devices were implemented to recover the energy from the concentrate and use it to balance the fluxes within the system reduce energy consumption and improve performance of the overall system for a total annual savings of approximately $100,000. Another optimization enhancement was the replacement of the Lyme feed system with the Tecum system to provide post-treatment stabilization. The original post-treatment system at the GWRS included degasification and addition of dry hydrated lime that included lime silo, slurry, makeup system, and transfer pump. OCWD experienced difficulties in operating and maintaining treated water pH due to lack of process control and accuracy of the lime slurry makeup system. The new system provides a greater level of flexibility and reliability in meeting finished water quality targets to minimize corrosion and enhance groundwater recharge operations. One of the challenges to maintaining wastewater flows to the GWRS is that the OCSD facility does not receive and treat sufficient wastewater flow at night. A flow equalization plan was developed that helped increase 
GWRS daily production to the full 100 MGD capacity by storing excess wastewater during the day when it is available and feeding the equalized flow to the plant at night during low flow periods. This allows the GWRS treatment processes to operate at a steady flow, simplify operations, increase water production, and reduce the unit cost of the water produced. The GWRS and GWRS initial expansion have made significant social, economic, and environmental impacts. The projects have received positive attention from national and international media, including CBS Morning News, BuzzFeed, Bloomberg, and 60 Minutes. The success of the GWRS has resulted in greater public trust of water reuse, and more importantly, has been a catalyst for technology, innovation, and creative water solutions in other communities around the world.